Inferno, you absolute buffoon. Why didn't you use Fourier series? Well, I'll tell you why I didn't use Fourier series. You see, in order to do Fourier series, you need to be able to find the constants for each vector that makes a circle to draw the shape. But in order to find those constants, you first need to actually already have the shape predetermined so that you can get the integral of all the points. And if you already have the shape represented in some other way, then why would you do it in Fourier series? Does Fourier series make it render at a high resolution? No, because it's approximated based off of the shape you already have. At best, it's going to look like what you already have. Does it render faster? Also no, because you need a near infinite number of vectors to represent each shape, which is not any better than just representing the shape as the vectors that make it up in the first place. And also, since it is a path that you have to trace, you have to do even more rendering uh, for each single frame. Can you represent each frame as a single equation with Fourier series? Also no, because Fourier series requires a closed shape to draw since it's with periodic functions. And so, like, look at this, you're gonna need 50 Fourier series. This is Desmos, it's, I can't run this. So yeah, so that's why. Oh boy, I sure am glad that there's no more unnecessarily complex mathematical formulas for this pretty simple Desmos rendering. Tupper's self-referential formula. It basically is just a counter from zero to a really large number, and then each number is representing some a uh, bitmap of zeros and ones that just represents every single possible combination of pixels in kind of like a matrix. However, these numbers get really big, and so you can't really... Uh, Desmos isn't very good with really, really big numbers. You know, any resolution that is higher than a few pixels. And so, and even if I wanted to make low resolution pixel art on Desmos, I'd just use a matrix. So there's really no reason for why I would do that. Now, you may be saying, Juneferno, you're, you're just saying this because your version looks like PS1 graphics. Look at these linear approximations. Well, I decided to redo the Desmos thing. Uh, this time we're using something called Bezier curves, which is what an SVG uses to render paths since in an SVG, with, if you just use linear approximations, for example, if you have like a round edge, then you're just gonna have a lot of really tiny lines. But with Bezier curves, what it does is it takes four coordinates. One is a starting point, one is an ending point, and then two that represent the curvature. And you can represent really almost any curve, whether it's parabolic or, or even like a straight line, you can represent it. And, so basically what we've done is we've made Desmos into an SVG renderer by converting each frame into uh, a path of these curves that it can render. Why did I choose a method that nobody commented about? Was it just to spite all of you for, you know, making all these ludicrous suggestions? Yes. Anyways, here's a preview. Thank <laughs> you.